Hello, comrades. It's Premier River, and I am back at my marvelous city of Neuve Rivergrad, where we shall soon have our own television station after a bunch of work, 10,000 hours more of work. But we are, we are making it happen, right? So I have been going around. A little bit of time has passed since the last episodes. And I've been trying to get ready for us to do the clothing. And I kind of think I am. But we probably want to change a few things and make sure it all works. One of those things that I noticed, absolutely one of the problems that I was having was there was a marker down well, all the way down here that was set to one way, I think just to prevent them from going in here when I was constructing. But the other thing that we've done down here is we made a number of construction railroad tracks. So I want these gravel guys to be forced into the regular supply loop. And I think it was just a shorter trip. We used to have a rail coming across here. So now the gravel guys should be able to come into here. And there was also some kind of a, a bug like these, these lines didn't look electrified, so I replaced this one and paid for it, $2 million. And then I was about to do this one, but when I paid for this one, this one just all of a sudden looked electrified again. So I, I don't know what was going on there exactly. But, but the fact is, is we now have electrical track all the way to this. I don't know if I didn't at some point or what was going on. But another thing that we're doing is we're constructing out here the rails that go all the way across and then over towards Tagliati and the auto place over there, Autograd. So what I'd like to do, and hopefully this will work out, I'll make it a little bit longer trip for them, but they should be able to come out here. Oh, I'm sorry, come out here and go around and get on this and then come over here and then head all the way out there. Now, the problem is, is that they don't have a crisscross, right? So a crisscross at like some point in here would help us with with them getting to the right track and being able to be on the one way tracks properly over here. So one of the first things I'd like to do is just get a crisscross built. I probably could just do it. Uh, it's, they're kind of a pain sometimes. That corner may work out. So the problem, can we get that? Nah, see what happens when you try to do them on the corner. <laughs> There we go. It'll be a lopsided crisscross. Now we can get a signal in here, right? Yes. Okay. So these I don't think I need to pay for. I try to do everything legit, if, if that's true. I mean, it's not illegitimate if you don't do it this way. But we do have another train, which may mess this guy up. So the point of that is I want to delete this track here before we before we get into the passenger trains going back and forth. And, and that will be its permanent state. And again, just kind of making sure, because this guy can get out to this, he should be able to kind of get everywhere. And I don't know that we're going to do much more rail construction down here anyway. And I guess we could always build new rails, you know, if we need, you know, kind of temporary construction rails like this. We could always build them, right? So... Having said all of that, let's uh, see if we can't get this one guy. Like I said, this may may cause problems, but we'll see. Just because there'll be a couple guys on the same track. You know what? I'll just schedule both of them. We only have three rail cranes in here, but at least one of them will get out there and start building. If they conflict with each other, yeah, so there's a chance when these guys are coming back and that guy's heading out, they're going to bump heads. But there's no signaling between here and there, so we'll we'll see how it goes. Or at least I don't think there's signaling. So I kind of got rid of it all because they kept jamming up. But all of this is now electrified up to here, which wasn't. And then one of the good things you can do, these signals are great. Apparently, I built trolley track right there, I think. <laughs> see that? Oh, it's got a trolley pole, trolley electrical pole. So I don't know. Should we replace that? Because it's just annoying to see those two little electrical things. Eh. And other than that, I think I mentioned, if you guys follow the episodes closely, that I wanted to make sure that we were getting meat every place, right? So I started out with electrical, Electronville, or Electrical Town. Sorry, where is Electronville? Wasn't, that was a better name. Oh, there it is. Electronville was kind of the actual actual construction area 
So I came in here to look at what related vehicles we had and quickly figured out that we didn't even have, I think we didn't have like clothes or, or right now we didn't have electronics coming to here. So if you look now, we do have electronics and we actually should have a truck sitting here. Is this the, no, of course not, clothing. Oh, that's right. Each of the electronic trucks, I think I'm going to send right to these guys. So what is he doing? Uh, oh, he's heading back with electronics. So now the other thing, even though we're making electronics right here, I'm still sending this guy to the distribution just out of the pure principle. Well, we don't know where this guy is, but he's driving around getting us more electronics. And for that reason, I fired my minister of distribution and I'm going to have to go around myself because he has not straightened out all these little issues that he's caused. Of course, I could have never caused those being the fine premier that I am. So I have kind of started going around and, and looking at each of these buildings and they, they should all now be purchasing at least, which they weren't like whatever they're supposed to be holding. I also like increased the amount of electronics that we would have. I made sure the electronics train is going around, but I need to do more of that. But the problem I was running into is our, we're, we're still waiting on covered halls. I don't think I've used every one on the map and I could certainly steal some out of the construction crews, but I don't particularly want to do that. I can be a little bit patient in life, right? And in, in coming up here so often, looking to see if we had another covered hall ready, and again, I haven't played that long, but we really don't have very consistent people coming to these factories. So, yeah, we're just having problems in a sense. Now, another thing I did was that we didn't have, for some reason, and I just forget when, I took the truck off from hauling cars from this factory and put them into here. Now, if you notice, he unloaded his cars into the distribution. I'm not 100% sure what to do with these guys. I don't think I could send them back to the factory, right? No, but can I send them to here? No, can I send them to here? No, that's... So I'm not sure how I get these guys. And, and the reason it's a little bit of a pain is that I've already got... I mean, I'd have to catch at one of our auto dealers when there's no truck sitting here. Or I guess I would need to try to, and here's the other thing, there is like flatbeds in here, right? But they won't let me, like it won't let me load them up. Like, you know, if I click on this guy, I've got this little load me up button here. So it's sort of like, well, how do I get these guys out of there? And then I thought, well, why don't I just sell them? And then that way, you know, lesson learned. But it, we certainly could use, you know, some kind of a method for, like getting, you know, just getting them loaded without having to send them to a car dealer. You know, I, I don't know why they wouldn't be able to sit in this auto. Like, why can't I send them to this auto space for vehicles or or even at least just pick them up in my tractor trailer in my flatbed there. But in any event, so we're waiting for these. I put this guy on here because what I've been doing for now, I think my priority should be getting the clothing going, right? So now we have five vehicles down here. And I also have another one that's already taking, yeah, see, he's sitting here waiting for crops. And he's bringing crops into this one. And the reason I picked this one to get started is because this is a fabric factory. I can get train, I think we can get a train maybe just to come to this stop and then like people can walk to both. I don't know if you guys remember, but we built this footpath. Oh, you know, we got a little footpath there. Yeah, let's just have that. That, that will be quite critical in the uh, process here. There you go. All right, so go get that little footpath done. But if I hover over here, yeah, see, it's, it's not. They can still get to this one. I think our footpath will just get them there a little bit quicker. So... You know, I need to get this done, but they, no doubt that they should be able to get up to like this clothing factory. So what we're going to do is set up one of these trucks. Oh, not one of the corn. Yeah, the, I that that the two corn trucks I had going to. They I stole them from our meat plant over there. So we'll get to that in a minute. 
I think that our meat by old Revergrad is completely shut down. So now what I want this guy to do, yeah, see this is gonna be, how do we have this? Corn coming in. Well, I guess we gotta set this stuff up, don't we? So I guess it makes sense that this, yeah, I think this should be the outgoing just because it's a little quicker for them to bring chemicals into here. So we gotta get a train for chemicals and we have to get a train for corn to come to here. So, but before we even do that, so let's take this one and say limit the amount and we're gonna do all fabric in this one. All right, 100% fabric. And then this one, you know, we'll never have electronics. I'm gonna do kind of 100% electronics. And then we're gonna do do we want 100% chemicals? It just seems like an awful lot. I guess we could. Yeah, let's. Try. How much is that? Eh, that's not too bad. We might as well do 100% chemicals, huh? I don't. We don't need that many chemicals here, but why not? All right. So let's set the rest of them up kind of similar. So this would be. I don't, it really doesn't make too much difference. This will be the outgoing. So this will be for fabric. Buildings on fire. <laughs> I appreciate the buildings being on fire and I appreciate the notices, but I have to admit that, that, you know, what do you do about it? It's sort of like, I mean, I know, just do your best to get it. It's just too much, too, like, overload there. So this would be chemicals. And see, this is sort of a problem. We definitely want to ramp this up slowly. If we're going to do 128, 135 tons in each one of these, that's that's a lot of our chemicals, right? So this one would also be a chemical place. So, and I think that's just kind of way more than we would need. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, let's let's fill them halfway. 67 tons of chemicals. Oops, close that one. Seems like it would be, and, and there's no chance they'll ever get electronics in here. So we just, oops. Right, that, that sounds, sounds a bit more reasonable. I, I can't imagine, if, and if it's an issue that we don't have enough, so then this is fabric, this is fabric, and that could be 100% because it's we're producing it. And then this one, same thing here would be fabric. All right, so we're going to truck to drive the fabric from those other ones up to here. And then here would be fabric. And then this guy will be fabric so that we can get fabric to the automotive center. So one truck. Well, we'll have to say it's, it's going to be a little bit of a balancing game. And then this would be clothing. And this will be clothing. Cool. All right. So I think that's all of it, right? You don't have to do anything with this guy. So the big, one of the big things that I've been trying to do is get some money going. Like I said, this is where I'm very highly upset with our ministers of distribution. And like they won't do the, you know, like my minister doesn't do the simplest things. Like we are kind of chalked up full of bitumen and there. Yet he won't come in here and just up this for me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so this guy's only... All right, let's, uh, yeah, we, you know what, get rid of about 50%. Now, let's see, where are you guys at? Are you moving? Yeah, so we're just sort of not using as much for, you know, it sounds like we might even need more trains. You know, if we're full of bitumen and full of fuel, it means we're probably getting more efficient, but at the same time, 
Yeah, you know what? I might even just put this guy because we could use the extra money if we we need to come back and check. But but see, okay, look, this guy doesn't have any fuel. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's go take a look here. Oh no, there. Let's close some stuff so it's not a complete mess. Where are we at? We're over here. Yeah, so this guy... Uh, okay, look, yeah, we are using a fair amount of fuel. Do we need a second fuel train? So I think there's just a lot of that little kind of stuff. And I'm want, like some of these... Some things get produced faster than we can make this typical loop to all of our distribution points. So it's just really nitpicking kind of things that I'm going to need to go through and take a look. I'm just, I'm not delusional, by the way. I know I don't actually have ministers and it's my fault, but just don't tell anyone else, please. <laughs> I need to get in there and, and really straighten out and get into some of the nitty gritty because I think the reason my money's not going up, you know, it's just you make changes and you don't realize all the little ramifications of it and, you know, little traffic jams happen and things like that truck being taken off of the the car distribution. I mean, you know, just getting those extra cars out is millions of dollars. Let's see what we, yeah, let's see about last month. Well, we didn't export any cars, but let's see one batoon. Look, that's not even a full batoon. And we got a million and chemicals, 19 million. So if we come by here and take a look last month, 13 million in meat. So I'm hoping that as the meat goes down but some of that well I, I don't know exactly when I made my improvements and put purchasing and make sure everybody was getting so like more people I probably bought some meat as part of fixing things but 10 million in clothing and electronics 4 million so that kind of hurt me a bit because I put the electronics on purchase yeah we're right by menu button distribution here so like if we came into yeah this one I purchased 20 million, say, electronics here, and then up this number to about 50. And then I made sure our electronics guy was going around to each one. Now what I need to do is go around to each store. Uh, this is the grocery store, this one. And make sure that we have a truck coming into here. I think I actually checked Farminsky here. So we have this one that's dropping off to each one of those. So... You know, just make sure we and then make sure we have a clothing truck. And then that's another thing that's, you know, and then make sure this guy isn't purchasing clothing anymore. So that's what we'll do is like X this out so that we're just dropping all this stuff off by by truck. And then that way, the only purchasing we have going on is here. And hopefully that makes it a lot easier in the long run for me to trace the, what's going on. In other words, Oh, why are we purchasing clothes all of a sudden? And I could just come to these five distributions and that'll be the first. Oh, wait, we don't have any clothing coming to here. Oh, the train's in a traffic jam. Does that make sense? Uh, other than that, we seem to be doing pretty well here. I mean, people are not 100% happy on the outskirts of these towns. Unable to get electronics. Yeah, see, that's where we were having some problems. Under food, meat. So they're having a problem getting to... Uh, yeah, we don't really have a path. Yeah, see, it's probably, let's see. Oh, they can't get to the store. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Can I get, that's worth a footpath. Uh, crossing not allowed. Come on. Zoom in. Right, it's kind of a mess right there. Let's get our guy going on that. And that might make the difference. Yeah, this guy's going to struggle too, isn't he? Well, we don't have anybody in there, fortunately. but Well, he might not because he has kind of... Yeah, so these might be getting just a little bit too far away. Out of my own curiosity for measuring future purposes... Yeah, see, that guy's only 200, and this guy's only 250. So with a direct path, they should be able to make it. Hmm. 
Okay, well, if we have to, I guess we could do a... I've been thinking about putting a trolley from here to here, well, which may end up going this way, but would be... Well, yeah, can we, we can't do waypoints on our trolleys, can we? No. <laughs> that would be nice, like, just to force them around certain circles, you know, like, even though it might not be the most efficient, shortest path. All right, so let's get that built, and we'll see if that helps helps them get there. It's good to check these things. And a lot of times I find them on camera. A lot of times I find them off camera. But other than that, we are definitely probably could buy another meat train, but I just sort of want to let it settle out and and just get you know get everything filled up with meat just with what we have. Because again, I I want to get this going, and and the first thing we're going to need is a corn train. And I'd like to not interrupt our vodka if I can afford to. And while we're here, yeah, this guy has some livestock in him, but we don't have any more employees. So I think unless people are walking there, this is just totally dead. So I'm not going to do anything with it this minute, but we could probably just destroy it. But fortunately, I don't think it's going to cause any pollution if it's not running. Don't we have a, yeah, we bought built this thing not too long ago yeah see we're all green there so but expect me at some point to come in here and think about how many people are down here versus how many we're getting over here so what I would say is it's going to be worth and then we got to get chemicals over here too don't we yeah so we need three trains yeah, and this this is just sort of a mess right here can this guy come out? No. Uh, yeah, see, he's even coming out onto this center track really just doesn't work that well. We're going to come all the way over here and buy a train. It doesn't make that much difference. All right, so the first train I guess we should get. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, that's my guy that, yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to think about him, but I do want to get him into Neuve Rivergrad somehow one day, figure out what's going. Maybe we'll do that this episode. Maybe we won't. Let's see what happens. All right, but let's uh, buy a new train, electric locomotive. And yeah, this is going to be expensive, but man, it doesn't need to be the fastest train. So I don't need a 70. Let's do a little green train like this guy is. And then we need cargo wagon. And we can always add more or more trains if it comes down to it. But let's see, which one's the, this one's the biggest, right? 22 tons, or 54, 55. Yeah, let's put four, four things on here. Now, when it comes to the clothing, there's no specific place. Let's, let's do that. And then I guess we might as well, yeah, let's go ahead and buy another one. We can just shrink this guy and put him to the side. And, and maybe we'll just buy another identical setup. Make sure I buy an electric one. Ouch. And we need one cargo wagons for chemicals. Oops. Okay. Well. Yeah, we'll, we'll do four and four. 35 million. All right, we're going to calm down on our spending. <laughs> But we do need to get a passenger train too, don't we? All right, so let's just at least get some some stuff flowing over there, and then we'll hopefully build up some bucks. I might have to, I might pause the recording at some point here just to go and get some money saved up. But all right, it doesn't matter which one's which. But here's what I'm thinking, and I was looking at it a little more, and I'm not sure if I like what I did. But what I would like to do is this guy's coming in on here. And I was thinking maybe it might have been better if I had... Yeah, I don't really have... I can't put... What I don't like about this is that I can't put a signal right here. And, and if nothing else, I could use that signal. See what I mean? I can't put a signal right here. Even though I could put one on here, I guess that's just long enough because it's on a diagonal and this one's not. But what I would like this guy to do is come in here and get get corn or food, whatever it is, grain. Like it looks like corn, even though it says crops, right? And then come to here. Yeah, 
And should he wait? Well, we'll have him wait in both places for now. And what I do like about this, so let's get him started and make sure he can go on his route. What I like about this, when you think about it, at this moment anyway, and we might even eventually, we might eventually even put another place to drop off corn, but he should be able to pick up the excess corn, turn around and head back out. Now I might have to redo this. I might want to redo this section of track, but if you picture you know like all of right now all of the corn we're using is being dropped off here and going into there we're not using any of this corn this this is just like a secondary stop for this guy so it also help hopefully stop this guy from driving back and forth so much which he's pretty much continually doing oh yeah see this is the problem with there's nothing in here we, we may be getting rid of this depot altogether pretty shortly because it just you see how he just caused this train to stop even though they were just passing in the night so in any event so this guy should come here get some corn drag it on down to there and then this guy should come to yeah how is our chemicals yeah you know what this really isn't good Because I can only get one chemical train in there and back out. So I think we need to do a little rail construction, which is going to be a potential. Yeah, so let's see. Could I come like. I might as well just make it. Well, let's make it regular track and then can I come? Right, let's put a signal in. Just so we know we can get it in there. Yeah, if we, I think it's going to be too hard to get it around that. There you go. Right? And then can I run this parallel? All right, so this will be... This will be a track that we can sit a train in waiting to come in. So what we'll do is... Yeah, this will just be a regular signal. And then this would be... We'll do something like, oops, okay, right, and then we'd put a chain like here. I don't, I don't want to actually one way, and then this would be like a regular signal here, and then this would be a chain. The train will be coming back this way, and I guess that can be just. We'll, we'll work that out later. Let's see what think about it a little harder later okay so let's commit to this and I think I we should be able to get in and out of there with oh, we don't have a rail construction guy there uh, you know what let's take the third guy from here see if he can't get over there somehow you're working you don't appear to be working Okay, so when he gets over there, we'll assign the task of building this track. Okay. All right, so there's two locomotives, and then let me go around, and, and I don't know what to do exactly. What are you, are you, uh, oh, good. He, he made it over here. I don't know what to do exactly, but I want to try to up our money. You know what? One thing that's coming to mind right away is I, we're, I have yet to, it's been a, a long time since I've seen a steel train sitting here. Oh, this guy is not completely full, but this one is. So let's take. There's two trains. One goes to Autograd, or yeah, and then you know for our car. So I don't want to mess with that one. But this guy's last stop is MB Distribution. Let's just zip down over to there because we are closer to Molna. And what I want him to do is is whatever he we're going to start exporting some steel, All right? 
unload. And then this is where I leave it on anything. You know, anything he happens to have on him, which should just be the steel. He will then go and, and just didn't sell it. So if we start using more steel, hopefully we can, you know, we can always take him off. So we've upped our oil exports. Now the other thing, yeah, you know, I don't want to do, you know, electronics is a great thing for us to export, but it, it's sort of a problem in the sense that we use those chemicals. And I think we're, until we know that we have enough chemicals for our, for our clothing, I think I'm just going to hold off on that. But this meat train, you see, I'm thinking of all kinds of things right on camera here, but I will probably pause the video after I, whatever I think through this meat train and he's at GW distribution. I think I would, even though it's, yeah, is he going to MB? He's going to MB first. Yeah. So, you know what, even though this is almost screaming out for another train, if I do this, in my opinion, so what I want to do is have him go, even though he gets done here at GW, and then he could pull right in. See, that's sort of the problem with this intersection, the way it is. Or do I send him? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm not going to send him to MB first. I think I'm going to send him to MB after GW. All right, that'll cut down on his driving around for no reason so then after he goes to gw distribution he'll come here oh wait a minute what do you got what are you doing here unload well that's sort of an issue isn't it yeah where are you there gw yeah and here you want to unload okay well that's I'm glad i noticed that yeah, and then we're here, and then you're going to come here and, and unload at Molna and whatever excess meat. Now, like I said, with that little bit of extra driving around, my concern is that, and we're, we're barely fired this thing up over here in Moscow, right? We're, we've got two of our things, and look, are they even running? Yeah, why are they not? Okay, they are putting a little smoke. We're not running heavy with... People, but as we get more people and we get this fired up, and actually we're running three of them. Okay, good. This one's not running. Yeah, no, we're running four of them. <laughs> so we are running four, but my issue is that this keeps filling up, right? So we, we should get that guy distributing more meat and and go from there. All right, good. So we made some progress, and that should up our money. So let me go just pause it so I can think without having to talk and see if there's anything else I can think of that we might pretty easily, oh, what's going on here? Uh, red signal. Uh, uh, ah, yeah. And why would you get in there like that? Or is this not, okay, let's see. How does he get in there, right? Like, he should have had a red signal. I don't know. Like, that should work fine. Like, I don't understand why he would have ever gone in there unless he had a, a clean way through, right? Does that make sense? Okay. Well, whatever. There we go. Yeah, and see, that's... that's. Ooh, look at that. It doesn't take long. I... I well, good. At, at, on the positive side, that sort of tells me why I might not have been making so much money. But do we have, is this all going to free itself up? Yeah, why are you still red? Oh, because we don't have, no, no we have signals in here. No, we don't have signals here. All right, let's. Do this. Once that train gets by, we'll. Ah, uh, that might have explained it too. Maybe that was. Yes, yeah, is this this isn't really properly signaled either. Yeah, this should be like that. 
and then that. Right. Yeah. So that that's okay. That, that good. I like to know the reasons. Yeah, this I expected to get a little backed up with the construction trains, but hopefully, because the construction trains kind of hold this intersection kind of long. Some, you know. Yeah, just the fact that they're there causes more traffic. But yeah, I think we're going to get cleared out there. It, it looks like we are. We could probably use, let's put another signal in here. Right, we can get, get trains lined up in there a little bit better. That should even help more clear that up. Yeah, see, and so, so when you wonder why we're not making as much steel, you know, there you go. Look at all those people. Those are all like just buses. Look at all those buses that are taking people. Now the problem is, you know, we're not going to be very efficient because I have no way of spacing those buses back out after that happened, which is the reason when I talk about getting rid of the mechanical components in particular, like I'd like to try to get not so much uh, the plastic doesn't in it make the traffic there, but I really want to improve the traffic situation so that that like get a, this is, you know, one of our original towns. I'd like to get maybe a bridge across here. And yeah, I've learned a lot since then and, and realized that this was a bigger issue since then. All right. So let me go find some, some more ways to make some money or at least just spend some time and let the money go up and hopefully we can get our clothing fully going. Let's just go see, how are we doing with, okay, that's right. This guy can't do anything, but I mean, how are we doing with this construction? Are we, are we there yet? No vehicles, bumper, railway crane. Yep, he's just plodding along at his top speed of 50, <laughs> but he's almost there. So I'll come back. I'll, I'll let a minimum amount of time, but I'd like to at least be able to buy a passenger train. And we probably could, but it's it's making me nervous with the money there. So let's see if I if, if what I just did gives us a nice positive if I let a little bit of time play. So, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, relatively quickly, I have gotten a lot more confidence in what we're doing. So I'm down here, and this guy is stopping this guy from building the rest of that track. And I realize that we don't have all electrical track. Let's go send this guy back to the depot. So we're going to have a little bit of a chemical issue if we don't keep track of this. But that guy should be able to spin around and, and also he was causing a traffic jam because i made one of these this signal here i made it one way and he couldn't get back in here but we should have time we we might even be able to do this before our chemical factory fills up let's see what happens so this guy should finish this track and then i sent another rail crane which probably isn't even here yet down to here and then I was looking so the problem that I have is is that this guy is not this track here both of these tracks is not all electrified I electrified into here somewhat but some of these tracks are not electrified so we still have these locomotives so I thought all of our track was electrified I guess it's not and then this guy has this last little bit to do and then as soon as he heads out of here, we'll start electrifying this track. And hopefully this guy will be down there in that ballpark of time. So it just seems like there's a never ending projects. I'm getting, I don't want to say I'm overwhelmed, but it's certainly when you're, when you're, there's so much going on in a sense that it's just, you can't focus on everything. And, and I think what I need to do is spend some time just making things better. There we go. He's almost done. Get done. Oh, if we're going to pay for that, if he doesn't get this bit done, right? How far, how close are we? Yeah, we're going to get it done. Okay, good. So now we can come in here and start you know, kind of chase him out the door, so to speak. Electrify the way he's not going first. Oops. Right, 
So we'll get all of this electrified, and then as soon as he's off the track, which he's off that piece, we'll get all of this electrified, and then we'll be ready This, oops, it's a little. There we go. So that should be enough there. Now, I don't want to mess up the other ones at this point, but I think I will make this a bit of a project to get that done. And so now they shouldn't have anything assigned here. So I guess I. Yeah, you know what? Is that going to be a problem? Yeah, they're really not going to be. I'm, just for the sake of my own sanity. I think we need to get, well, now, you know what? They should be able to come in here. Oh, but they have to come out here, too. You know what? We need to get this. Oh, is this not electrified? No, that is. Good. All right, we need to get that electrified as well. And they're not going to be able to come in and out on these. So let's just, I want to pay for this one. Because this is the, oh, no, that was the other one I should have. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to pay for both of them. And then let's just assign this one again, just for the sake of not having to redo all the... And then, then they cause so many traffic problems getting up here. So this is a case of a, of a crisscross in order to prevent that. But once this guy gets into here, maybe we can assign another project to get it both done like ASAP. If we, This is the kind of thing I would do off camera, kind of just waiting on this. So that guy has to get back before he can head out again. Did he get back that quick? Sorry, moving around too quickly. Oh, there he comes back out. Now, how are we doing on... Yeah, we have... Oh, we don't have... Oh, there it goes. Is that our prefab panels guy? Yeah. Okay, so we'll, he'll get out there and probably electrify a good amount of that, I hope. And then what I did was... I went around and looked at each of the or as many of them as I thought of, maybe I missed one, but we're now exporting cars, which we were, and I went and put this guy, our lumber guy, to go export. I went and put our mechanical components guy to export, which I think I might have done when we were recording, but the train that comes into here, so we'll export those. Now, I didn't mess with the food because I just don't, I don't feel like we have enough, even though I didn't really study it. Oh, look at this. We're kind of... Yeah, our food situation, yeah, so we have corn guys sitting around. Good, this is exactly what I wanted to be able to see, right, where we could have these trains in here. But then part of the problem is if this guy sits here, he's going to block these other guys because he's too long to fit in there. So, like, this guy has crops, which is good, but... You know what I mean? When this guy gets emptied out, this guy is going to be blocking his path. Which means, why don't we take this guy? Oh, he's not told to wait, but he's waiting because he's sort of... Because they're using it. That's See, that's just... That's a problem. It's kind of a significant problem, too. Just because he's not told to wait there, but he is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should be considered full. And then he should just drive on. Yeah, let's send him to his next stop. Just because he's, you know, really kind of wasting everybody's time. And then these guys can get out no problem. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how I would fix that over here. Because I think I just, these are just kind of. It looked wonderful when I did it, in my own opinion, but it's sort of, you know, one thing I could do is maybe, yeah, see, that guy was, like, stuck way out to here, though. I guess we could shorten the length of these trains. We could take some of those boxcars off of him. Hmm. All right, let's go back over to here. The other rail car didn't get down here yet, so how's he doing? Hypercritical. Yeah, there we go. He's oh good. He might even work his way backwards a little bit. Oh no, he'll go straight. Yeah. 
which is fine because that gets our chemical guy. We could even upgrade that chemical guy while he's in the depot. Make him not a... Yeah, so now let's assign... This. Good. So that should be done. You know, and that was quick. Look, we've only got 19 chemicals in there. So it's not like we're even really going to miss a beat. I'm a little concerned that we're not producing enough chemicals, as I mentioned. But we'll see what happens. Yeah. I mean, if all these chemical plants and still not enough chemicals, but at least we have all the supplies in them. It's not like, it looks like we could up our workers a bit. So that's, that's something else to do. There's, like I said, there's just 7 million efficiency things I think I could start focusing on. And yeah, so now the other, one of the other efficiency things probably is to take a better look at the corn that's coming out of here. Oops. Yeah, there's really no corn in there. Is there corn? Yeah, for all practical purposes, I don't, it doesn't seem like we're making a lot of extra corn that we're not turning into food, even though we had that little train kind of thing going on there. I'm not sure that that was actually really causing us a problem, more of an annoyance in, in, a, in the flow of things. All right, so we'll let that get done. And yeah, so are we ready to buy a train? Like I feel a lot more comfortable with the fact that we're going to get some exports. Now this guy, yeah, this is a problem. And I didn't do this off camera because it was a little dramatic. So let's, let's see what problems this causes. I'm going to come in here, here, cancel railway. All right, so now this shouldn't be a problem. And then so these trains that are coming to do rail construction can no longer get to this supply, local supply route here you know or the corn route you know like it's kind of like i look at that as local supply so let's see this guy's probably feeding back on himself and this should be one way out of here this should be a chain in All right so now what this guy will do is come around here drop off his corn loop in around here come back out the other track right no oh no no yeah to come back out this track right on the right hand side and then come this way so this is kind of a loop right around there and back and then the chemical guy should do the same thing when when he gets running so i think yeah we need to get the chemical guy i guess i should even i'm going to start up now that we got that part straightened out, let's go back over to, we should have two chemical, if I can find our depot. Yeah, two chemical guys, though this one's not assigned to be a chemical guy yet. Let's just shrink that because I might come right back. So when we get that track done, I want this guy to get here first, right? Because I just want to fill him up and get him down to our clothing. So load it, load me up some chemicals. And again, I, I have a feeling that this is going to be a weak, weak point. But then, if you know, I've been talking about plastic tin where we make more chemicals. So we'll, we'll see what happens. And yeah, here. Oops, game save. Thank you. And then we'll unload the chemicals here. Now, can we wait? Yeah, hopefully if we wait, I guess we could do, yeah, we could do a waypoint. So, you know what, come from here and go to that waypoint. And then let's go get our, this is the corn train, right? Yeah, so what I want you to do is go to the left-hand side. Now, this... Right, 
So you go to that left hand side before you go drop off your clothing or clothing, corn or crops or whatever they are. All right, so there we go, right? And then we do want you to unload and wait. And we want you to come here and wait. And there's really no reason I can't start this guy, right? Other than he might bump into our construction locomotive, but I don't, I don't think they would. All right, yeah, you start and you're an electrified train. And then let's go back to here. Yeah, and I want to electrify you. So, you know, we're going to buy this guy just because they're kind of cheap and I don't really care how fast he goes. And then you are this one. So what we're going to do is give this guy this one's course. All right, good. And then I'm not sure who you are, but let's move these guys over to here. Yeah, can we move? Yeah, so it. Yeah, okay. I was I was wondering if we could. It seems like each car has an even amount of stuff. I was wondering if we could get rid of one of them. Because I don't know that this needs to be for long. But anyway, this guy can now be sold. Right? Because we don't we're gonna get rid of all of our fuel ones. Good. Eight million. I'll take eight million. And then as soon as as soon as our rail construction yard's done, we can start that guy up. So this guy should be going to get chemicals, bring it to there. Yeah, my little nemesis here. We're going to, you know what, we're going to fix him. We're going to get him in there. How's that sound? It, it'll get, kill some time in the episode. And we close that, I think. All right, good. So when we see chemicals and whatnot, we'll go back and buy another train. And we'll try to, oh, we got to get them on the passenger loop, huh? Yeah, that's sort of a bit of an issue, isn't it? Uh... Yes, it is. So in other words, we don't have a way to get a train into our passenger loop. So uh, where should we do that that makes some sense that won't cause a traffic jam? Mm. See, these would be coming. And we need to signal that too, don't we? Yeah, so we can get rid of some signals here. I'm getting distracted again, aren't I? All right, I don't need those signals in particular. And then I come. I think I need to do, or I want to do some of this kind of getting rid of those extra nodes. But yeah, where would it make sense? I mean, I don't think it really matters how he gets in here as long as he can get in here. And I just want to make it so that's at least, I think right, maybe right here. Like if I were to do, and this one we might just need to, we just might purchase this outright. Right? Like if I were to go like this, then they could come in on the corn loop. And they could just kind of spin right around here. I'm hoping. Right, so they'd spin right around, and this will be one way this way, right? Making sure that's true. Yeah, we're not doing British transit here, so we should be on the right hand rule. Oops, yeah, and then we'll. I'm just going to purchase that because the, there's almost going to be no way without re signaling half the map that I'm going to get anybody in there. One million, even. There we go. So now we'll be able to get our passenger train in there when we need to, which is kind of important okay what were we doing we were going to go get this guy in there weren't we let's close these up we'll come back and check on them in a minute so my problem has been and if you guys didn't watch the saturday summary this guy is not going in here for the life of me i don't quite know why so in other words i want to get him in on this loop but i'm assigning this train platform six first and I'm wondering if it's not 
if it's not a problem that they're not figuring out to go past these other two stations, it's the only thing I could think of. Like, because, you know, all these other trains are going around one way. This is a, here, let me do this so you guys can see better on the, see, this is like two way or, you know, you can go in or out with that, which is good because if you ever want to take a train out and then this, you know, trains go by here all the time. Here, can I, yeah, let's get rid of those nodes. Oops, didn't mean to stop that guy, but it's okay. Um, you know what I mean? Like trains are coming by here all the time, and then this is all... Oh, is this not electrified? Let's just make sure. I'm pretty sure it was. Oops, not from here. Yeah, I mean, that's it's not letting me build. Oh, I don't know what you're doing. But like you can see, if, even if we were just that far along, it would... And I know it's doing something goofy there, but it's not letting me electrify it because it's already electrified. This is all appears to be electrified. I know we have it's little graphics things going on there, but I can see it all appears to be electrified. This, you know, this signal here is because of that. All right, so what I'm thinking of doing, let's just see if this is, let's get rid of platform five, six, you know, where you do this guy's thing, and let's just delete the stop, delete the stop. You know, and the, so the first one should be this one, three. Yep, three, and then go to four, and then go to, and you know, we'll start this back up again. Then go to five, or six, and then go to five, right? Yep. And then go to this one, and then go to this one. And you don't, yeah, you know, I think I'm just going to leave this guy getting whoever he wants. Is that what we did with the other one? So let's, now, so he doesn't do something else convoluted and crazy, what I want to do is, I'm going to have to do this. Let's have him make sure he comes up to this point here, right? And then what I want to do is let's do platform three again. Right after that waypoint, we want to go to platform three. Yeah, so we'll get rid of this one. And then so now he came up to a waypoint some point here, and then I want to give him, say, this waypoint. Right. So let's start him. Let's see. Hopefully he. Hopefully he does what I expect him to. But it's been a little bit frustrating trying to get him in here. I'm just trying to get another one on there. So. So we'll see what happens. Now, what are these guys doing? Are they taking, they're not taking workers. So maybe we have that, well, no, you know what? We don't want this other guy taking workers either. Yeah, let's get, let's get rid of all the workers. Cause like we should be getting workers from, from the little section of town down there. This should just be passengers and students. And the students should hopefully mostly just be the university students. So, like, I'm expecting that these people are enough to fill this town with workers. So we'll see. Okay. There we go. So now, we see our money's going up nicely by the millions. Like, when you get this advanced into 2024 now, you, you definitely get... You definitely get to uh, see. So let's see if we can't do this by the end of the episode because we're coming up on it. Uh, we would get a passenger train, right? Do we have chemicals in here yet? How is, how is our chemical guy doing? Um, no, he's in there waiting. Good. Okay, so he's just waiting on more. And then we got our rails all done here so we can change this signaling. Maybe. All right, so you, let's see, what do we need? We need or want, yeah, this guy is going to be one way out that way. This guy will be one way in this way. This guy will be just a regular, oh, I could have changed the other one while I was there. All right, and then what do we do here? Because I don't really want to cause a problem. Now, these trains are pretty short. I might be able to get away with. 
Okay, so it's not going to let me put a signal until like there. Right. Yeah, I don't really want that to be a chain, and I just don't have enough room to fit a train in here. So I think we just want this to be a regular. Now, you know what? This could definitely cause a problem if we ever put too many trains on here. But so we won't for now. But we'll see. Does that make sense? Because if I try to do this with a chain signal, it's going to stop the guy out here, which is going to jam everybody else up. But if I let this guy in and he doesn't have a place to go, which would be here, if there's already a train in here, then it's going to be a problem. Now, one of the things we could do is, is if we didn't have so many darn windows open, let me try to get this right smack in the middle is I could do like that, right? So hopefully we could get extra train in there without causing a whole pile up. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave this as a regular two-way signal, but yeah, really what we should probably have done, this will work fine for now. What we probably do to make that a little bit better is this is the in, and we, we could have taken this track and made it a double track all the way in there and all the way back out. Yeah, that would be the way that would let you put a lot more. But we should be fine for now. We don't we don't I don't I think we'll be fine. All right. So now. Yeah, this guy's waiting. Let's just. Uh, where am I going to leave you guys? And I think I'm going to leave you guys in suspense when it comes to. Starting up the chemical or the clothing, because I don't think we really have enough time to do that. Let's let this guy fill up. Our money will go up a little bit more between this episode and the next. And yeah, this guy is now an electric locomotive, which is wonderful. And we should be able to start him, get him out of there. So let's just follow this guy and see if he's, you know, let's see if we can't get him in and we'll kind of call that an end of the episode. And that'll get us a chance to get a few more chemicals built up. And, you know, if we're ready to go, we'll just send this guy out not full but i don't see any reason we're not making its chemicals as fast as we can or have been we might up the buses over here and then we need to get all our vehicles down there straightened out right because we don't have we don't have all the trucks assigned to go from one place to another down here so so we'll see so let's see how our electric locomotive's doing is he getting close yeah where were you coming out of there for <laughs> Didn't he just come out of that distribution? I don't know. This guy's insane. Yeah, so we'll see what happens with him. Now let's see. While we're while we're seeing what happens with him. Yeah, look at this 17 million we've made and we've spent six. Yeah, we're still spending on meat. So hopefully hopefully that will stop at some point. Clothing fabric and that so these two you know we can we can work on together in the sense of you know once we get the clothing thing going and that will be the focus of next episode i promise we will have clothing going yeah look at that so uh, you know what i'm gonna why won't you go in there look we got a crossover track and it's all you know this is one way but it's the right way and he just won't he just won't go in there. I mean, I have no real idea. So I'm just going to, I'll probably just save it, which I always do at the end of the episode. And that way I, I'm just going to try to do whatever I can. Like I might redo these tracks. Maybe he doesn't like that there's some gravel on the track there. Oh, is that broken? Oh, ha, ha, ha. That's not, I thought it was just a leveling thing. Okay, you know what, I think I need, I'm not going to be able to build a track that short, so I'm going to just delete back a little bit more. Is that enough? Yep. Okay, play. Come 
Come on, buddy. Yeah, he, he won't dis- he won't get rid of his question mark till he gets to that signal. I thought that was like where you know where you re-level and it just sort of looks like a graphics glitchy kind of. All right, so now here's my thought. I probably did that because it was messing up. You know, if this signal, let's see, what what signaling do we have? Yeah, that shouldn't mess it up as long as there's not a train in here. So I guess I just didn't want them doing anything crazy. Oh, man, all of that just because, well, it's always something simple once you know what the problem is. There we go. Good. Well, we got the guy on there, so it had nothing to do with which order I put them in, which didn't make sense, right? They go through stations all the time. I'm... I'm just creating solutions to problems that don't exist. All right. Well, there we go. So that guy should be able to get in there and, and we'll have an extra train going around the loop here. You know, so we just to make sure because and by the way, the whole reason for that was because these guys aren't quite getting enough. Like, I, I think that the trains are often full when they get heat. Well, not that one, but like this train. I don't think we're getting enough passengers if that makes sense. So there we go. Okay, well, let's see if that helps that. And I'm going to call it an episode and we will come back and I will, we will, I promise we will get clothing, even if it's just a little tiny bit going by the end of next episode. But I think we're really, really ready now. Oops, we got this going on. Now, why would you get in there? Oh, because this really should be a chain signal, shouldn't it? Because we're going into an intersection. There you go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any comments. Thanks for all your likes, subscriptions. I always appreciate them. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.